Mr. Branson of Clapham, a retired solicitor of 68, is a wonderful example of youthful energy. His motto might well be, never say die, but diet. As a matter of fact, he says he doesn't believe in death, but only in life, which he regards as a joyous adventure. As a runner, he's full of beans, and he can jump to it at any time. Mr. Branson says he can still cycle 100 miles a day without feeling tired. In fact, he could almost live in the saddle. And the secret of it all is grass. Yes, this exuberant liver claims that grass contains all the essentials to efficient nutrition. He prefers the freshly cut short mowings from bowling greens, but grass from any lawn will do. The great energizing and rejuvenating element, says Mr. Branson, is the chlorophyll. After thoroughly washing and drying the grass, and probably developing a big appetite in the process, Mr. Branson starts to prepare a meal. Although self-sufficient, grass is more palatable when mixed with other things. A little mangle wurzel, for instance. First of all, then, he takes about two ounces of grass, or say, six tablespoons. Mangles, two tablespoons. Currants, three teaspoons. Uncooked rolled oats, one tablespoon. And sugar to taste, ration card permitting. And here, says Mr. Branson, you have a perfect meal. Well, if the proof of the pudding, uh, I mean the grass, is in the eating, he's got something there. And such high living costs him about two shillings a week. Gosh, that's what he'd call a real mill. <laughs>